harvester in my basement that I can't turn off. And so I'm here by myself with my youngest who is sleeping. And it keeps saying from like a distance, let's play. That's really creepy. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am just sitting on the floor in my living room. I have my Christmas tree behind me and I'm so pumped because this is number two of my gift giving guide. One thing I wanted to feature were more expensive gifts that I've received in the past that I feel like are worth the money. Let me explain. I am actually a very frugal person. I buy clearance meat. I shop with a grocery list. Um, this makeup lover does not buy new makeup unless the previous makeup runs out. So like I don't buy new foundation unless my old foundation has run out, which I feel like because I am such a makeup lover, that makes me a saint. Still waiting on my saint award. But one thing I do appreciate is sometimes it is true that the more money you spend on something, the better quality you get. There are a few items that I definitely recommend if you have somebody in your life who you're wondering what is a nicer gift you could get for them or maybe you've wondered about a few of these items yourself and if they were worth it they are and i'm so excited to show them to you today so before we get into everything i just want to let you know if you don't already i actually have my own website it's my full name hollywashburn.com and you can see my latest YouTube video. I actually have a blog on there as well that complements every video I do, simply because I know that some people enjoy reading more than they do watching videos. And I wanted to be able to bring that content in a variety of ways. So whichever you prefer, I don't usually tell people at the same time that they both launch, but just know for future reference that if there is a video, most likely there is a companion blog, and the blog is where I'm gonna put all my links to this stuff. Um, that way it just doesn't get lost. You can always go to hollywashburn.com, find the blog that has the same title as the video, and everything you're gonna to wanna to know is in there. I also wanna take a moment to ask you to please like and subscribe. I am having so much fun doing these videos. I feel like a total dork, so, Thanks for putting up with me, but this has been such a fun outlet. I feel like I've already made some really cool friends and seeing the support of my friends in real life translate into support in what I'm doing here just means the world to me. So I want to say thank you if you already are a subscriber and if you're somebody who's on my team and rooting for me, like it just means the world. And last but not least, head over to hollywashburn.com and join my email list. The best advice I've been given is that Instagram, YouTube, these are all platforms that I don't own, but I do use. And so should something happen to any of them, I would want to be able to still communicate with you guys. And the best way to do that is through my website, through my email list. So head over there, sign up for email updates, and then you're the first to know whenever there is a blog that posts. I'm definitely not a bougie person. I do enjoy bougie things, but wanted to make this video kind of as a joke, but also because there are a few things that are what I would consider expensive to purchase at this time in my life, but that I have been gifted and I found them so worth it. Number one, the Foreo. I have been a Clarisonic girl since they launched in 2001. I actually have owned two different Clarisonics. I have gifted one Clarisonic to one of my sisters. I was a Clarisonic lover. But one thing that always bugged me was that I'm a bit of a germaphobe. And I wondered, even if I cleaned the brush, how clean could I really get it? There was something about the depths of that brush that always kind of freaked me out. And it's just not plausible to like get a new brush head every time you wash your face. So it kind of freaked me out. And especially as someone who struggles with acne, I'm super hyper vigilant about gross things on my face. It had been, I don't know, years since I looked at what the market had to offer for facial cleansing apparatuses. Q, the Foreo. I believe I saw Kathleen Lights talk about this and she and I have very similar skin types. 
She doesn't have acne, but she has really, really dry skin. And she talked about getting the sensitive one, which if you struggle with hyperpigmentation, meaning like you easily turn red when you exfoliate or you get a zit and then it stays red for like the next the million, next years, million years, years, then you have sensitive skin and you should use the purple for you. This is the sensitive skin one. I love this thing. I've had it for almost two years now. And I remember the first time I used it, I could not believe how my skin felt afterwards. And since then I've made like my sisters and my mom, I, I will like shove it in their hand and be like, use this. Cause I just, I couldn't believe the difference I felt just the first time using it in my skin. Also what's really cool about this is you see, so one side you have the nubbies. You can see mine's used. Like I've got a little patch right there that I don't know, they just kind of go every which way, but they're not broken. I love that on the other side is these ridges. And so you're supposed to be able to use action to rub in like your serums or your potions or your witch's brew, whatever you're using for that youthful glow. You're supposed to be able to use this side to help the product penetrate deeper into your skin. What I love about this is I see it on sale all the time. So if you jump on Amazon, you're going to see it fluctuate, but definitely probably between now and Christmas, it's going to go on sale. Worth it. The number two is the Oracle by Breville. Um, we are huge coffee lovers here in this house. And when we were first married, I had a at least three Starbucks a week habit. As much as I've tried to make myself love drip coffee and be a basic girl, I, I can't do it. There is some mental block that tells me that the coffee that I get out of a drip coffee maker does not give me the caffeine like an espresso does. I'm sure that there, that is not science. I don't know. But my brain is convinced and therefore if I'm going to survive through the day, I need espresso shots. So we decided one year that we were going to pool all of our resources together. We were going to just ask for the Oracle from our family, like money, money towards this coffee maker for our Christmas. So we literally had nothing to open on Christmas day, but we achieved our goal of getting the Oracle. And when I sat down and did the math, the amount of money we saved in getting this machine, we paid off the Oracle. We would have paid off the Oracle in a year and two months with the money that we saved on getting coffees three times a week, let alone if you have a five, a five coffee a week addiction because it's an addiction but it's a good one. What's really cool now is we very rarely have coffee out. In fact, it's not even a temptation because our coffee maker here at home makes such good coffee. Like go into a Portland barista shop, get the most amazing Cortado you've ever had. That is the coffee my coffee maker makes. It's super simple to use. It has a double boiler, which means double broiler, which means broiler, boiler, potato, potato, which means that you can steam milk and pull shots at the same time. Like you don't have to pull the shots, wait for it to reheat and then steam milk, which is kind of a bummer when you're trying to get your coffee like at the right temperature. Guys, I told you this was bougie. It is bougie, but it's worth it to me. We have now had the Oracle for three years and we love it. We care for that thing like it's another child in our family because it is and I love her. Number three my lighted mirror. I love makeup, like I said earlier, and sometimes it's in the tools that you use where you get like the sweet spot. And I have been doing my makeup in uh, one of those round lighted mirrors, you know, that you get from Costco or wherever, and they're like 20 bucks for a hundred million years. And I decided I was like, I want a really good lighted mirror. I do my makeup in my very dark, poop brown colored wall room poop brown colored walls room and so it feels like i'm in a cave and a lot of times that translates into my makeup when i go outside and i'm like good i look like a witch i researched lighted mirrors on amazon and last year i asked for one for christmas and i love her i wanted it to be something i could plug in because i was tired of being in a rush going to do my makeup and then the next thing I know I don't have batteries and I don't have time to change that. So once again, I'm doing my makeup in the dark. 
has to plug in, had to be large, and it had to have warm lighting and cool lighting. So depending on if you're gonna be inside and it's nighttime, you do the warm lighting. If you are gonna be outside during the day, you do the cool lighting. And that really helps you set the tone for your makeup. What I also loved about this one is it's dimmable on both settings. I love this mirror. I've had zero problems with it. I would buy it again. Let me, I'm gonna attempt to show her to you because she is large. So this is the mirror. So this is the button, button, that changes the cool and warm tone setting. And then the power button, you hold it down to dim and to brighten. Number four, Apple AirPods. When these came out, my husband, who's a total Apple head, needed them. But I had those AirPods that come with, you know, the wires and with your phone. And I didn't think I needed them. But my husband, in all his wisdom, bought me some for Mother's Day this year. And I am sold. I can't live without them. In fact, they might be one of the most valuable things I own. Like, to me in the sense that I use them so much. But if you're a mom like me, you know that if you're wanting to listen to something while you're cleaning the house, you have to find like a situation for your phone to sit in, like stick it in a bra or maybe some pants. Then you're finagling like the ear pods in and wishful thinking the wires away. Rather than do all that stuff, I would just not use my phone. I wouldn't listen to anything. And so when I got these, total game changer. I love that you don't have to have your phone on you to use them. So I actually will just pull out, I usually use the right bud, pull it out and then I'll slip it in. And it, I forget it's in there all the time. Um, I can use one at a time, which was huge for me because I want to be able to hear my kids. So one ear is open. If my phone rings, I just tap on it and answer it. I can text people verbally by saying, hey Siri. All of it is a game changer. I am blowing through podcasts, blowing through audiobooks. I'm living my best life when it comes to audio content. And I could not recommend these more. And last but not least is a pretty bed. Obviously I couldn't drag my bed down the stairs here to show you but I will definitely link at least the Amazon picture of it and we have a king size bed I was so tired of just mattresses on a rail no headboard and it, I just was like I'm a 30 year old woman and my bedroom still looks like I live in college so in desperation I got onto Amazon and was researching king size beds and anything king size is automatically more expensive your sheets your bed, like anything, it's just more expensive when it's larger. I jumped on Amazon and I found this bed and I love it. It's so well made, it's the prettiest soft gray color. It's tufted so it's like kind of fancy and romantic, but at the same time, I know this isn't a bougie video because it's, it's like over $50. But for a king size bed, it is a screaming deal. A lot of times it goes in and out of stock on Amazon, but I've seen it a ton of times this year back in stock. So I know it's still like available. I love the height of it. It is like Amazon's best kept secret, I think. And so if you are like me and you haven't, you know, as you grew into your marriage and you got more money and the money went somewhere else because really a bedroom set is kind of a splurge who needs it. Um, check out this set because it is, it, there's something magical about crawling into a really pretty bed at night. Okay, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these were ideas that you enjoyed that maybe you have a special someone in your life that you're looking for something a little nicer to gift this year. And if you have a bougie gift that you will ride or die for, please leave it in the comments because I am always looking for items that are totally worth spending the extra money on. If you haven't hit that like or subscribe button, please do so now and I'll see you next time.